Hi, this is Joe. Welcome to my online guitar lecture. In this video, I will show you study number 14, opus 60, by Matteo Carcassi. It is, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful scale studies for the guitar ever. It is one of Carcassi's 25 progressive melodic studies, published in 1852. And what happened in 1852? Charles Gounod improvised a melody over the C major prelude by Bach, later known as his Ave Maria. But back to the study number 14. It is in D major and the tempo is Allegro Moderato. Let me play it now. I hope you'll enjoy it. Okay, in the left hand we should try to be as relaxed as possible with a very soft touch. It actually helps right hand to relax too. But this study is about scales played by I am fingers with occasional slurs. In some bars, namely 10 and 12. In the first repetition and bars 24 and 25 in the second repetition, there is a counterpoint in the bass. In these bars I use PI fingering in right hand, but the first two notes I play with thumb, playing PP, PI, PI, etc. The highest note, E2, appears at the end of the first repetition in bar 8. And also in bar 16. But the expressive peak is in bar 32 on D2. I can recommend a small weighting fermata on this note. To get the study in tempo, it is not enough just to play it with a metronome and keep increasing the speed. You need to work on the extensors, the muscles bringing fingers back to a stride position. In other words, you need to work on rasgado, to play a bit of flamenco. As one of my friends says, even the worst flamenco guitarist has faster scales than the best classical guitarist. We think this is because of well-developed extensors of the flamenco guitarist. Important thing. Watch your right hand small finger. If it is not relaxed during playing, there is a tension in your hand. It is there because you use the muscles that should have been relaxed. Only the finger playing at the moment can be tense. All the other fingers should be relaxed. In other words, when I finger plays a stroke, M finger should relax by moving back to position and the pinky and A finger must be relaxed too. Another trick is to play it very softly, piano pianissimo, but in tempo. This will naturally relax the right hand. Don't forget to practice in rhythmic variations. Also, try to play in small chunks of just one or two bars, but very, very fast faster than usually. And that is all. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please leave your comments below. I wish you all the best video playing and bye for now.